So we're in a time where a lot of people are afraid of giving, getting their images stolen. There's a huge thing of watermarks and raw images and not giving up things and how to deliver things to clients. And one of the most popular questions I literally see almost everywhere on Facebook, even Instagram, all, the, all these kind of places, and I get it occasionally emailed to me as well as, do you give clients your raw, your unedited images so that they can do things with them? Well, here is my advice, my personal advice, and there is two different sides on this. So let's jump into this topic right now. This is the uttermost, this is the most popular question that a lot of people really want to know, especially if you have not gone through the process of doing this. Now, I have actually, you know, maybe just a handful of times that I've actually given raw images to clients, and there's a certain reason for that. One of the main things you have to distinguish is who your client is, and that's going to really tell you if you should or shouldn't. Now, I'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do, but once again, this is my personal advice of what I, what I feel is the best strategy for someone, especially small, running their business. Now, if you have a, say, just a, a commercial client where it's maybe an ad firm, uh, or you know this is going into print, or you know if this is something a little more professional than just the occasional portrait, wedding, you know, something like that, and I'm starting off with this because this is the easiest answer. I have no problem at all giving a raw file uh, to this company or client or whoever, however you classify them because they need it that way. Now, I am not an ad magazine designer. I, I don't know the layout that they use, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so with that, you should be like shooting a little wide too. So giving a raw image to more of a professional commercialized uh, outlet is not a bad idea. And I think it's almost common sense to do that, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna cover upon the other side in a second, but so, like, uh, I did an event for the Muscular Dystrophy Association the other year, and they wanted uh, JPEGs on site so they could do things automatically, and I did those, but they also wanted some, wanted some of the raw images um, for their uh, print, you know, online, billboards, all that kind of stuff, which is really, really awesome, so you give them that option, you include it in the contract, and you charge them what you need, uh, to feel comfortable with that. One quick tip a lot of people forget is you can copyright your images. Now you take them, they are your images, absolutely 100%, all depending on what kind of contract you're signing. So some companies try to really play tricks on that. But you, you have metadata inside your camera. So if you grabbed your camera, you can actually go into your metting, uh, your uh, settings menu, metting menu, your metting, oh my God, I did it again. You can go into your menu settings and set your copyright in here so that way it is written into the metadata of your images. So that way, whenever someone goes to open it, you know, do anything with it, it will actually say your information here. And if someone chooses to go against it, once again, depending on your contractual status, you can take legal suit then. But giving up the raw images, it's not necessarily a bad thing for professional commercial print ad, you know, fashion kind of use because it's almost kind of common in that case, especially like some charitable things where they're going to do events. Just know what contract you're signing, what you're doing, and that quick tip of setting the metadata will alert them. And this is actually, I made a video just a little bit ago to where I gave a client even a JPEG image and this one company would not print them without my written consent saying, I give permission for this because my metadata was in here. So that's also kind of a deterrent too. So keep that in mind. Commercial use, uh, commercial use, it's not a bad thing, and it's almost kind of a given because they use images a certain way. Just charge for it. But how do you charge? How much do you charge? What do you do differently for non-professional commercial use? That is a great question. Typically, besides everything I just talked about, I don't give out my raw images. Um, a couple main reasons. So if I'm at a wedding, first of all, the space that would take up is absolutely terrible. Uh, so that would be a lot more on your end to worry about. Yeah, you don't have to edit them if you were thinking about doing it. But um, just keep in mind some of these things. So you're giving away unedited work. So this is your work, this is your paintbrush, this is your tool that you used, and you're giving something to someone where, first of all, they probably can't even open it. Because raw files are not universally uh, readable like JPEG images. So they probably, they can't view the image. They definitely can't edit the image, especially the typ your typical client, which is like, you know, 90 to 95% of the time, they don't even know what, you know, Adobe Photoshop is and more or less what a raw file is. So that's one huge thing to keep in mind as well is 
you're going to give something that no one knows what the hell they're doing with. They've just heard from friends. Oh, unedited images. They don't have to edit. You can charge cheaper. What is that bad advice that's kind of hurting the market in that way? So you don't, I mean, and you are giving away a piece of yourself. But as I mentioned before, you do have the metadata in there. But you are giving away your work. And you're, you can ruin your brand if someone horribly, except yourself, edits your images that you took and then brands you. So say you went on Facebook or someone's blog and you say this person knew how to edit a raw photo and they just, they did horrible, all the straightening was up, you know, the clarity was brought up, it, saturation looked terrible, and they go, thanks, thanks so much for this image, Eric Rossi Photography, guy with the eye or whoever, Johnson Photography, took this image, you know, thanks so much. It, if the photo is gonna look terrible, it's gonna come back onto you and not look great. So I wouldn't recommend it for, you know, anything except the, the 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 commercial aspect of it or charity aspect because it's, it's just not a smart idea those are really really valuable files as well so you know so, so if you were like held at gunpoint to sell a raw image which i i hope not um you would you it, it, say if you really wanted to you needed more money uh you just have to charge more once again i don't advise doing it unless what i mentioned before but say if you were just like okay i do need extra money your raw files are very very valuable so say if a wedding i mean i'm kind of making this up on the spot so say if a wedding couple one of them was a, a photoshop expertise you know he was an expert and they wanted all the unedited Im images great i don't have to edit but what would i charge for them so say i got two to three thousand dollars for the wedding you know typically what i do and that includes the editing time now with the raw files i'm adding a lot more money uh onto that you know you have to justify your extra cost you know am i going to add another five thousand uh, you know five thousand am i going to add another five hundred to a thousand more dollars for for these photos uh, yeah, because that would be the way to go. Overall, there's just some things you just have to keep in mind in regarding uh, this topic because uh, your photo represents your shooting style, your brand, your entity, and if it's and if it's horribly done, if someone knows what they're doing, uh, it can really ruin your reputation. It could degrade your quality, and you just have to be smart that not of these people asking. One, don't know what it is, like I mentioned, and two, can't even edit it at all because they don't even own an editing program. So you really just have to educate your client. That's the whole thing about, I guess, this topic and this video is to educate your client, tell them that they hired you because of the way you, you or your editor, however you work, um, style the image that way. So leave it to us or let's throw out some really random price and see if they bite on it. If you really want to go that route and if they really want to, Okay, sure. So that's all I got. Eric Ross of the Gap with the Eye. Professional use, I don't have a problem doing it as long as you know what the image is being done. If you're getting, you know, attributed for, your, uh, for it and whatever compensation you're getting. Um, but otherwise, you know, because they're more professionals. But for the not non-professional market, it's really, really not a good idea unless you're getting way, way overpaid. But at that price, I'm going to ask you, say if you made $5,000 more, would you deliver your clients the raw images if they really really wanted and paid up let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on that and this entire video thanks so much for watching give this a quick like share this video uh, because people really need to be educated about this and this was just my take